What up guys, it's Bill Mod 2. So I figure I'll come out and make a video because it seems like my name's been brought up a lot um, lately, either showing up on people's live feeds or people talking about me on their live feeds or whatever. So I'm going to touch on some things and I'm probably going to go this way, that way, back and forth. So just bear with me. It's been a while since I've made a video. Let's start with William Worthless Worthington. You know, what kills me about this guy, I, I watch the live feed. By the way, I'm blocked on his channel. Um, so what kills me about this guy is he says no one is blocked on his channel, but yet he has me blocked, okay? I never seen a guy that's so desperate for friends, okay? Never saw. It. This guy's desperate as fuck for friends. And what I mean by that is, I was watching the live feed yesterday, and he's pointing a finger at the camera and calling people bitches and shaking his fist and getting all flustered because someone said something about his wife. All right, I'm trying not to mention names, but an hour later, he's laughing and joking with James Hensley because he, he wants to be Hensley's buddy. And don't get me wrong, I like James Hensley. I think he's funny. I think he, he has a lot of good stuff in his channel. Uh, I actually would like to talk to James because I am trying to buy my own truck. And I want to know how to go about like getting on load boards and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I do like James Hensley. Uh, but back to William Worthless Worthington. Uh, here's, here's a guy whose wife just got insulted. And he was almost at the point of having a heart attack. And now he's laughing and joking with these guys. Well, maybe not Bubba, but with with James Hensley, you know? I mean, if you, if Hensley took away his channel, or his, not his channel, his wrench on Hensley's channel, William Worthington would have a nervous breakdown. He would. And let me tell you something, Hensley, sometimes having William Worthington in there as a moderator is bad for your channel because he's taking away people that could actually give you more views. That's my personal opinion on it, you know. But what do I know? Um, and, and what I also thought was funny, this wasn't on the live feed, but, or no, it was on a live feed, but not last night's live feed. It was another one. Was that William Worthington referred to Middle Eastern drivers as ragheads, but yet, says that I'm a racist. Now, if that's not hypocritical, I don't know what is, okay? Yes, the infamous, I said, why are black people so fucking lazy? You know, that's because I work with black people and that's the way we talked, okay? I could have called them the N-word like William Worthington does because he thinks because he has Someone who's black in his family gives him a free pass to say the N-word whenever he wants, okay? Which, that, it, you can't do that. You know who gets a free pass to say that word? Other black people, okay? That's the way it is, okay? Now, for me, I could care less what William Worthington says or thinks, but if you're gonna sit there and call me a racist, you better have actual facts to back it up, okay? You, you just better. Because when you're sitting there calling people ragheads and then calling me a racist, I can't take you seriously. But I don't think a lot of people on here do take you seriously. Yeah? Do I think you were a truck driver, William Worthington? Maybe. But let me tell you something. When I first started out in trucking, okay, my trainer at US, Ex US Express was was coincidentally enough from Florida. And coincidentally enough, he had full blown COPD. And he was we were out there for a month. 
So my question to you is, if you got full-blown COPD, why can't you drive? They have medication for it, you know, that can help control it. Maybe if you didn't vape so much, maybe it'd be better controlled. I don't know, you know. But here's a, here's another thing too. At moving on now, you you and Big A Hole had a uh, live feed at the bar. You got your wives there. You're drinking, playing pool, whatnot. Why does my name get brought up? Why does my name get brought up? You mean you guys have nothing better to do being out in a bar and you got to bring up my name? <laughs> you guys are losers, man. And you could tell, you want to know why things went south with Big A-Hole's wife? You could tell that that woman was just fucking mortified that she had to be there with that pedophile looking fucking William Worthless Worthington and his wife. You know how when you go out, the wives are kind of together. The guys are kind of together talking. That girl, when they were on the beach, that girl didn't want to be anywhere near William Worthington's wife. Nowhere near. Can't blame her. But, and I'm not digging on William Worthington's wife because I don't think that's right. People saying shit about his wife. You know, I'm just trying to be fair. Um, but, Jesus Christ. They don't... She, they didn't talk. They didn't want to be together. Nothing. No wonder. She probably said as soon as they all split up, uh, Big o, Big A Hole's wife probably said to Big A Hole, "What the fuck did you bring me out here and be with those fucking people for? What are you fucking crazy?" I guarantee that's what she said. And Big A Hole, you know, I've watched some videos, you know, with turkeys in them and shit like that. Let me tell you something, bro. You better look in the mirror, because you look like an uncircumcised penis, okay? You and Billy Raines aren't going to be on the cover of GQ anytime soon, okay? That's just the way it is, man. No wonder you fucking got problems in your marriage, big a-hole, because you act like a fucking kid, okay? And you can say, oh, it's all in good fun. I don't know, man. You keep bringing up my name, you and a few other people. And here's a little little thing for you. I am not Jersey Beast. I am not any of the other Bill Mods. I'm the original. I'm the realest motherfucker on YouTube. And you wanna know why I say that? You wanna know why I say that? Because if you guys remember me having a live feed, right? When I used to go live. I never had moderators, okay? And I never blocked anybody except one person. And that's because that one person took it way too far off YouTube, okay? I think when you contact somebody's wife or you show pictures of people's houses, that's taking a little bit too far, you know? That, that shows me you really don't have a life. It really don't. And that's when it becomes like an obsession with people. So that's, that's what I, don't, I really don't like. And William Worthington, you can put my phone number out there as much as you want. 908-627-0056. That's my number. You know? So, for all you people that don't want your number exploited, do not give it to William Worthington. Do not. Because when he gets drunk or he don't like you, he'll put your number up there like that. Okay? That's exactly what he'll do. So, but it doesn't matter to me because if I don't know the number, I don't answer it. Period. Um... And that's all I got to say about that. The next person I want to talk about is kind of new, but he made a whole video dedicated to me almost. And that's Billy Rains. Called me a lunch lady looking motherfucker. Okay. Says the one who's wearing an NWO shirt from the fucking late 90s, early 2000s. Let me explain something to all you stupid motherfuckers that are trying to make these wrestling references. There's only one of a few categories that people who watch wrestling fall into. And wrestlers themselves will tell you that. Little kids, developmentally disabled people, losers... And geeks. I guess those are the same thing. 
The kind of people that couldn't get a date in a whorehouse. Those are the fucking people that watch wrestling. So Billy Reigns, which one are you? Okay? I mean, you're making fun of me, again, like William Worthington, like Big A-Hole. I know I ain't seen you on the cover of Muscle and Fitness, bro. You better take a look at that big gut. Okay, that big gut, that's what you better take a look at before you start casting those stones. You know what I'm saying? So for a guy that hasn't been in trucking that long, you got a big mouth and a big stomach. Okay, you do. And you get your feelings and your asshole hurt when fucking somebody says something against you. But yet you think it's okay when you say whatever you want to people. Okay? I'm just saying. You know? Again, I don't make videos all the time. I'm not going to make videos like I used to. Simply because I got better things to do. Okay? I'm not going to go live like these other motherfuckers do every other fucking minute of the day. How they fucking make money is beyond me. You know? But William Worthless Worthington, you, like I said, you call me a racist... You're the biggest racist, okay? You say, oh, nobody's blocked on my channel. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. And I don't think I really even said anything to you. I'm blocked. You want to know why William Worthington blocks me? Because he's afraid of me. And he can deny it all he wants. So, William Worthington, you say you're not afraid of me? You say everybody's welcome, even your trolls at your channel? Well, call me. You have my fucking number, motherfucker. Or don't. I could care less. You know? And no, William Worthington, I don't need a wrench in your channel. I would never want a wrench in anybody's channel. Okay? I care less. I'm not like you. Oh, please, give me a wrench. Give me a wrench, please. I'm not like you. I'm not a fucking loser. I got better shit to do with my time. That's why I'm the realest motherfucker on YouTube. Because I tell it like it is, whether it hurts me or helps me. So, I hope I straighten out some shit now. And I hope fucking people will watch his video and kind of take another look towards William Worthington. Because he's not so funny as everybody thinks he is. He's funny in that we all know he's going to self-destruct. We, we all know that. We're just waiting for it, you know. But he's not as funny as he thinks he is. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this video answers a lot of questions uh, as to why I didn't make videos. Maybe I didn't cover that. Hold on. Maybe I didn't cover that. People have asked me. And this one person who asked me why I stopped making videos, he actually texted me. I I got he got my number from William Worthington because I don't ever remember this number. I don't remember the full number, but it was a 775 area code. So I don't know whose who's, uh, number that may be. Maybe William Worthington does. But uh, this person asked me, why did you stop making videos? Please bring it back. And he's not the only one. There's been quite a few that have asked me to bring back my channel. And the simple fact of the matter is, I'm trying to get my own truck. And once I get my own truck, I'm, I'm not going to have time for this shit. I, I'm just not. Uh, once in a while, maybe. Um, but the reason I stopped doing videos is because there was one guy out there, Mike Carter, who took it to the extreme, showed pictures of my house, Tweeted my wife, um, you know, which shipped from 2014, okay? And this was all done in February of this year. So, January or February, I, I don't know which, which month it was. But I just thought that that was overkill. I really do. When people here, unless you're going to be their potential employer... Nobody from YouTube should be investigating anybody else from YouTube. 
I mean, that's that's how I feel. I may be wrong about that, but when you gotta investigate other YouTubers, then there's something you're afraid of. Okay. But I just thought that that was ridiculous that he sent my wife that and showed pictures of my house. Because I did, I have made references when I did make videos that, you know, I have $65,000, which I probably shouldn't have said that. But I do. I can't help it that I worked my whole life since I'm 14 years old and I've saved my money. I mean, if you don't have some money put aside by the time, I'm 51. If you don't have money set aside by now, then you got a problem. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, you know. Um, I can't help it that my wife and I own a few rental houses. I, I can't help that, you know. I, I just can't, you know. I'm not bragging about it. It's just, you know. We invested our money differently. Other people go on vacation and buy new cars and shit. I mean, I got a new truck out there, but I mean, I don't go to the casino, which is like, I don't know, 20 minutes from my house and blow my money on red or black on the roulette table. I don't do that shit, okay? I, you know, if I see a deal and I think it's good for my wife and I, I do it. If it's not, then I won't. You know, am I a millionaire? Fuck no. Fuck no. And I don't try to pretend to be a millionaire. You know? But, you know, everybody, I think, on here in some way or another takes shit a little bit to the extreme. And this is where I will agree with William Worthington. If you got something to say about me, keep it to YouTube. You know, you, even on this video, you want to blast me about something? Blast me. I don't give a fuck. You know, other people have, you know, and I don't care. You know, some of it's actually funny, but some of it's stupid too. You know, but just remember, I have that power too to blast back. And that's, that's what happens a lot of times. You know, if I blast back, people don't like it and they can't handle it when I blast them back so they want to take it to that next level you know and this is what's happening with YouTube you know everybody's taking it to that next level until actually one day somebody is going to show up to somebody's house with a gun or a knife and it's going to be a sad day when that happens that's all I got to say because you show up to somebody's house you don't know what that motherfucker's got in there, and you don't know how much he's willing to defend his family and his property. You know? I'm just saying. I ain't making no threats or not. I'm just saying. You know, I would never show up at somebody's house, somebody's job, whatever. I would never, because you don't know how they're going to react. You, you don't know. You know? You want to keep it to YouTube, that's cool. You know, when you take it off YouTube, you know, and you bring in other people like people's wives, people's families, shit like that. People that ain't got nothing to do with YouTube. Now you're taking it to a level that it doesn't need to be brought to. You know, and what's funny is I see a lot of these motherfuckers on YouTube. They do that. But then when it's brought back to them, they get all fucking flustered about it. So that's it. Like I could look up people's addresses and show their house on Google Earth and shit like that. I could do that, but I won't because I don't think it's fair to their family members who have done nothing to me at all. I don't think it's fair. And that's one reason I did get off YouTube because I have a wife, I have a stepson, and they live with me. They have nothing to do with YouTube. And you know what? I'm not putting them in harm's way. For me, I don't give a fuck. I can handle myself. You know, I just take out my nine millimeter and we'll 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 deal with it then. Okay, you come knocking on my door. That's that's just the way it'll be. But that's that's me. But I don't know when I'm not here what's gonna happen with my wife, with my stepson. I don't know. You know? 
So I think people just have taken it to a level, to a level that it doesn't need to be taken to. You know, keep it to YouTube. You want to insult me, make parodies of my video like everybody else has done, go for it. You know, but just my last words are to those people that make fun of me, make fun of my neck. Just remember one thing. I don't see any of you motherfuckers on GQ or Muscle and Fitness. Okay? I don't see it. All right? And I'm sure if we went to a bar together, I'd be getting pussy before you do. All right? Some of these motherfuckers couldn't get laid in a whorehouse with a fistful of hundreds. All right? Believe me. So I'm not saying I'm good looking. I never said that. But... I think people in glass houses shouldn't be throwing them stones. You know what I mean? And for, for William Worthless Worthington, before you start fucking calling people a bitch and a racist fuck, you ought to take a long look in that fucking mirror. Okay? A long look in that fucking mirror, buddy. Because you're calling people ragheads. You're calling Spanish people spicks. You're calling... Black people, the N-word, okay? You're saying a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. And you can call me racist all you want. All I know is my ex-wife's Peruvian, Spanish. My current wife's dark-skinned Filipina. And I didn't want to play this Trump card. I didn't want to play this card. But I'll, I'll play it now. My cousin's married to a black chick. He has two kids. Okay? She's watched the infamous video. She even said, there's nothing wrong what you said. Nothing wrong. Okay, now I'm not saying she's a spokesperson for all black people. I'm not saying that. But believe you me, I am, not, I am the furthest thing from a racist. The furthest thing. Okay? You see how the words William Worthington come flowing right out of your mouth, raghead, spick, the n-word, right? You see how they flow right out, right out your mouth? You're a fucking closet racist. You could sit there and say all you want. You are a closet racist. And then you let people who are insulting your wife, you're sitting there laughing and joking with them. So you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I like this. Fuck you, Ensley. Fuck you. And an hour later, an hour later, less than an hour later, you're sitting there laughing on the phone with him. Oh, you're my fat little fun. My fat little friend. You're my fat little friend. You're a hypocrite, dude. You are a fucking hypocrite. That's why nobody can take you seriously. You're a Down syndrome looking person who, oh, uh, you're just... You're a fucking joke. You're the joke of YouTube. Okay? Only The only person who doesn't get it, though, is you. So that's all I got to say. So I hope everybody likes this video, shares this video. Um, but thumbs up, thumbs down. I, I don't do videos for, for that shit. I don't do videos for... You'll never see monetized stuff on my videos. I, I don't do that shit. Okay, I could care less. And really, I guess I could care less how many likes I get. I just hope William Worthington sees it because I know it'll drive him up a wall. Um, again, I'm not the Jersey Beast. I'm the one and only Bill Mod. Okay? All others are imitations. Don't get me wrong, guys. The guys that are imitating me or girls... I appreciate it. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. So I hope you like this video. And I hope it drives William Worthington and Billy Raines and a couple other people up the uh, up the wall. By the way, least and or last and not least, I should say, fuck you, Ike Stevens.